one of the trickiest decisions any of us are going to make, if we haven't already made it, is whether or not to eventually give the old family home a miss and move into one of those other places where they reckon older folk will be better off as those years start rolling by. Here's Alex Tarney with one couple who are faced with just that dilemma. Gee, takes you back. There we are, there's the front of the house with Jim. <laughs> That's, that's the upstairs They're veranda. Teasing we you about to, not having your hair done. We used to sit and to be photographed. Sip our drinks while with the passing parade going by. As long as you fall in love with anyone else. Why don't you fall in love with me? 85-year-old Jim Vickers-Willis and his 76-year-old wife Beth have lived in Bayside Brighton in Melbourne for most of their lives. They loved their house of 28 years where they raised three children. But three years ago, they made the difficult decision to move into a retirement village. It was a, a wonderful home for us. Um, it was a terrible struggle to leave there, wasn't it, darling? Yes, it was very hard. We'd always wanted to live right there at the foot of Dendy Street by the beach. And um, we got there eventually. We had 28 years, which was great. It was, you know, it was beyond the time we should be there. I wanted to stay there until I died. I, I, you know, it was our family home. And, and I felt we'd die if we stayed there. <laughs> <laughs> the trouble was, of course, that you know, I've had polio and I was in the hard lung once, and uh, Beth had to do everything. Beth says that looking after Jim, plus the upkeep of a large home, was wearing her out. So she started to look around for a suitable residence for their old age. But Beth had a very difficult time persuading Jim to move. I put up a big fight. <laughs> did you? In what way? Yeah. Oh, I... I oh, negative. Yeah. And everything. And Jim yeah. is a positive person and he was negative about everything. <laughs> and, um, but, and, oh, the worst time was... It was a terrible year trying to make the decision. I've taken it from a slip. Finally, Jim yeah, said to me, well, can, uh, you know, you know I don't really want to go, but um, you really are the one that has to do everything, so you're the one that's got to make the decision. Whoa, <laughs> that was very difficult. It's a big responsibility. It was, it was huge. I think it was one of the hardest decisions I've ever made in my life. There we are. Did you think you'd like pink geraniums in this? Yeah. She was very shrewd though. She said to me one day, she said, if we go up there, it'll enable us to be together for longer. And mm. that, that was really the decision. Which was true. Jim is now convinced that moving into the retirement village was the right thing to do. And he's also regained some independence. He's had a bike specially designed for him. Oh, you're home. Woo! <laughs> Hi. Oh, my God, that's a bit of a sudden break. I'll get the shopping yeah. out. Oh, you've got that get for the right me. Things. That's good, yes, that's terrific. I can ride oh, it everywhere I do the shopping. It's one good thing I can do for Beth, is go shopping. In fact, I call it my freedom machine. Jim and Beth were concerned that by moving into a retirement home, they would feel institutionalised and that it could be depressing being in what's often called God's waiting room. But that turned out to be far from the reality. He thought everyone would be there with so much time on their hands and they'll all be arriving. No, they're not like that at all. And it's no. not like very that. Everyone's people. very careful. So. Hi, Shavonta, how are you? Good, thanks, Beth, how are you? Up here we have more support, but we've also had some unexpected benefits in that we've found some wonderful friends here. Enjoy your meals. Thank you. Breathing over the right back, exhale forward, to the left, reverse. It's not like a, <laughs> you know, people imagine an old people's More of a place is going to be. It's, um, there's just too many interesting people around to, for it to ever be like that. These will be very nice by Christmas. Beth has built another beautiful garden here too. And um, I'm as busy as anything in my We've got our business. own shops. And, and I'm writing a book, another book. Yes. So, you know, we're, we're just having a very interesting, happy, older life. What's that line about uh, not planning to retire, but planning to live? And why do I get the impression that those two actually get along? Because it shows, I guess. Mm -hmm.